A sexual abuse lawsuit against Prince Andrew is moving forward. Virginia Giuffre alleges, alleges convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein forced her to have sex with the Duke of York when she was 17. Now, Andrew has consistently denied those allegations. Lawyers for the Queen's third child had tried to argue that the case against him should be dismissed due to a settlement deal Giuffre made with Epstein in 2009. A judge rejected that argument yesterday. So for more on this, I want to bring in Holly Williams, who is in Windsor. So let's talk about how things unfolded. Um, so, you know, people may be a little confused because Virginia Giuffre came into this agreement and, and got money for it with, with Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, the prince is not mentioned at all. Uh, can you explain the judge's ruling and does this set the stage and how this sets the stage for a trial perhaps to go forward? Well, the short answer to that is yes, this potentially does set the stage uh, for this case to be heard in court later on this year. But as you say, it's complicated, so let me unpack it a little. Th this ruling from the judge yesterday is not a finding on the merits of this case. It's not a finding uh, on the facts of this case. He just decided that it can move forward. And to remind you uh, of the background, Virginia Dufresne uh, claims that she was trafficked by Jeffrey Epstein to Prince Andrew for sex and that she was sexually assaulted by Prince Andrew on multiple occasions uh, when she was a teenager, including in New York. Now, for his part, the, the Prince Andrew denies those allegations. He's never been charged with any crime. This is a civil lawsuit. Uh, and he actually says that he has no recollection of ever meeting Virginia Giuffre, uh, despite a, a photograph that uh, appears to show them together. Now, what Prince Andrew's lawyers were trying to do was to get this case dismissed before it goes to a courtroom. And they argued that that 2009 settlement between Virginia Giuffre and Jeffrey Epstein, where he agreed to pay her half a million dollars uh, to settle the case, uh, that that effectively shielded Prince Andrew from any kind of legal action. The judge found that there were no grounds to dismiss the case, however, and that means that this is all moving forward. Mm -hmm. And there had been sort of a little line in that agreement that had to do with other people, and so they were sort of arguing that the prince should be protected by that. Um, does Prince Andrew's attorneys now have any other legal options? Well, they, they could appeal this ruling uh, by the judge. There's no indication, though, that they're going to do this at that point. Broadly speaking, at this point, Prince Andrew has kind of three options. One is he could, you know, allow this case to go to trial, um, you know, allow this case to go to court. Um, then he would have the drip, drip of more facts emerging, perhaps during the discovery process, perhaps during depositions, if, if, if information is leaked, and then uh, during uh, the court case itself, and that kind of publicity, that kind of scandal is exactly the kind of thing that the royal family hates. Secondly, he could just refuse to take part. He could say, no, I don't want to be deposed. Uh, I, I don't want to give evidence. I don't want to testify. However, if he does that, the judge could find him in default uh, and award quite a large sum of money to Virginia Giuffre because he's in default. It would look bad for a start and it could end up being very expensive. Finally, though, Prince Andrew could try to settle this case with Virginia Giuffre, Virginia Giuffre before it goes to court, before it goes any further. I mean, has Giuffre indicated in any way that she would be open to a settlement? Why, is, why would that be an option? Well, interestingly, Virginia Giuffre's lawyer uh, did an interview with, uh, with British television last night and he said that he believes um, she is not interested in a purely financial settlement. Now, what that suggests is that it, the only way that she would agree to settle the case is if Prince Andrew uh, acknowledges that he has done something wrong. So then, in order to get a settlement, to stop this case going to court, uh, it seems that Virginia Giuffre and Prince Andrew would need to reach some kind of agreement not only on money, on financial damages, which is what she's seeking here, but also on what happened. There are no good choices for Prince Andrew. We'll see which one he chooses. Holly Williams, thank you.